Definitely. Uh, before launching the game itself, we uh, had two local partners or sponsors who placed ad uh, in the game, and it was worth twenty-eight thousand uh, dollars. Where we placed ads, of course, we focus on the user experience as well. So the ad placement has to be transparent to the user and within the gameplay itself. And we did. We have two two actual companies uh, advertising with us. They are our sponsors. And we, we have some potential customers as well that contact us with every update that we introduce for uh, specific, you know, they can sponsor the weapons as well and other, depending on the brand itself. So this is direct sales sponsorship? Yes. Okay. So we have one minute to go. Any other questions? This is Chris Burry. Nice to meet you. Uh, you asked for a million dollars. Yes. And I'm just curious, what, are, what percentage of the company are you looking to give up for the million dollars? And the follow-on to that is, why as a team should I trust you with my million dollars? Sure. Uh, as you've seen, the, uh, the potential for the gaming industry and the game, uh, mobile games specifically is huge. Uh, we understand the region. We are from the region. And the MENA region is a very attractive region for game, uh, games and mobile games specifically. And we are our customers. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off. But why is your team the right team, and what is the percentage of the company you'll give up for sure. the million dollars? Uh, the percentage we're willing to give is 10% of the company. And the team is right because collectively the founders and the team has more than 30 years of experience in game development, um, product development, engineering, computer science, and coding. And we're addicted, passionate gamers. Thank you. So before we move to the second startup, we need to vote. So we will be saying a question over here. This is for the audience. Yes. Guys, let's try it together. Huh? Five excellent, right? Five is excellent. Five, five is good, one is not. Yeah, exactly. So for the audience, did you vote already? He's joined for a special announcement by ICT Platinum on the government cloud, which is going to take place now at the special demonstration. Thank you. Ah, it is the other way around. But it shouldn't be like this. <laughs> so guys, let's do it the manual way. How many are saying that this is a good presentation? So, it's an upside down. It should be five is the highest. So, sorry for that. So, if you pressed one, it will give you five. If you press five, it will give you one. I mean, this is... Max, is this the only way we can do it? This is the English way of scoring? <laughs> All right. We have to live with it anyways. All right. So, again, for the judges now. We're going to see five questions. Max? Let's move to the next one, please. Thank you. So, now we have score. And uh, I would love to invite the second company. So it's Fai Technology, Saad Al Qahtani, and Majid Lavapidi. Assalamu alaikum. This is Majid Lavapidi, Fai Technologies co founder, and my partner Saad. One, one second, one second, one second. Go. Yep. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, Fi Technologies is uh, a free Wi-Fi uh, 
a free Wi-Fi company that provides internet in public places. And it's only and the first innovative advertising uh, platform here in Qatar. With the high growth potential regionally and 75% a profit margin. So Wi-Fi technologies. We all know that digital media nowadays, uh, the importance of digital media is increasing day by day. So advertising trying to reach their potential customers by delivering their messages. But, uh, and, and actually, uh, millions of impressions are spent every single day to deliver the advertisers' uh, messages. But we know one simple fact, that all these banners that sharing the same page for different advertisers distract the internet user. And not only this, even the small size of all these banners also distract the internet user, especially uh, when the internet user uh, busy with, ho with his own uh, uh, social and personal activities. So that's why we at Phi Technologies believe that advertisement is not just uh, get your ad in front of many people as possible, but we need to ensure a high guarantee to see ad with an exclusive ad placement with no distraction. And we customize your ad and make it interactive and we're going to bring more traffic to your website with our special redirection page service. And we will have a very um, uh, talented uh, tool to track internet user behavior in the future. So how Fi Technologies works? Actually, let's consider our friend Mark sitting in a coffee shop, uh, trying to connect to the SSID of the coffee shop, and now an innocent looking page will appear in the front of him. So we can see uh, unlimited size advertisement in the front of the internet user, interactive page, fully customized. The internet user trying to use the internet, uh, the username and password, and then he will connect so he, he will be redirected to a redirection page. So I can, as we can see that our two services, the login page, give us an opportunity to a guarantee to see app, a fully customized web page, and our redirection page give us as a, 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 an opportunity to bring more traffic to the advertiser's website. And not only this, the advertisers will have a simple dashboard so he can track his campaign uh, statistics report so he can see how many visitors and unique visitors actually and unique users uh, use uh, his sees his campaign so uh, Sam will uh, talk more about it so um, what we've done so far we are in 30 locations already uh, around Qatar like covering the uh, famous uh, coffee shop brands including Costa uh, Second Cup Caribo and others and we have currently more than 300,000 uh, viewers and more than 80,000 uh, unique visitors which are being redirected to the second page. Uh, we have three paid advertisers uh, already and we have established a strategic partnership with uh, one of the equipment um, uh, providers uh, which is uh, Aruba Networks. So uh, what's the future for us? We're going to expand in 2014 to 80 locations, which is going to allow us to have around 1 million uh, viewers and around 300,000 unique visitors. And we're going to expand outside Qatar as well. Um, and we are actually uh, in very mature negotiations with both media agencies and telecommunication uh, companies in order to reduce the cost and um, get a high margin. So we will break, a, a break, uh, break even in 2015 and we'll get 2 million in revenue by 2016. Uh, 57 of uh, companies like increase their spendings in digital media and the, the market is growing by 10%. Also the market is 200 million in 2012 reaching to 800 million by 2032. So this is our team, the co-founders, myself and Majid and our uh, talented team, Anis, Mohammed, and Morshad. Thank, uh, Thank, Thank you. You've done? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Q&A. Hi. Hi. So you put up a revenue projection number. Yeah. I'm wondering, why is it so small? Uh, 
Um, because actually, um, it's small. Uh, because we uh, have a lot of uh, money doing uh, uh, the development at the first two years, and actually the expanding itself costs a lot of money because we provide a free infrastructure to coffee shops or in, to, to the public places, and also we pay for the internet. So we're trying to actually reduce the cost with having a lot of uh, strategic partnerships with the provider, the internet provider, and the uh, let's say. Uh, the equipment's provided. So currently we're actually co covering everything, all the expenses. So uh, that's why we're trying, uh, we're uh, actually working on establishing, and we have already established with the hardware um, uh, vendor, like equipment vendor, uh, like establishing strategic partnerships so that we can uh, reduce the costs, basically. So look forward five years, what will your revenue be? Uh, as I remember, it's going to be around 12 million uh, Qataria. If you raise two million dollars tomorrow, how fast can you grow and how would you grow? Um, if we raise two million dollars, um, we will be able to expand, cover the segments that we have already started, which are the, um, the coffee shops and the restaurants. And, um, that will allow us to take our platform, which is the most important thing of our solution, uh, to the next phase, which is the customer behavior and data analysis of how people actually you know, use the internet and interact with the internet. And that will uh, actually enable us to go to um, you know, uh, advertisers and uh, advertising agencies and actually give them the real data of the customers and the customers' behavior so that they can target the customers with the, the ads that they need. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So for the audience question, now we know it. One is the best and five is the lowest. Thank you. Thank you. Next in the row is uh, the Saudi technology guy, Abdelaziz Al Chaloum. Welcome. Thank you. My name is uh, Abdelaziz Al Chaloum. I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm here today to present uh, my new project. It's at. Is this clear? Can you hear me? And uh, I'll be showing you just two minute uh, video that will explain the whole idea. Then. After that, I will continue and explain it in English. Uh, so let's start with the video. بلغ حجم سوق الإعلانات الرقمية في العالم العربي للعام 2013 أكثر من 180 مليون دولار بزيادة مقدارها 80 بالمئة عن العام 2011. هنا يأتي دور أدسوق لتكون المنصة الأولى عربيا وعالميا بطريقة مبتكرة لتسهل الربط ما بين المعلنين والناشرين بشفافية وفعالية وأمان أدسوق يتيح لك تقييما أولي لحسابك مع ترك الخيار لك لتحديد المبلغ الذي تود أن تربحه من خلال إتاحة النشر عليه للناشرين يمكنك عبر منصة أدسوق أن تتيح أي من حساباتك الاجتماعية تويتر، فيسبوك، انستغرام، لينكد إن، يوتيوب، كيك للنشر من خلالها من قبل المعلنين وذلك بطريقة آلية وآمنة سجل الآن مجانا وابدأ بجني الأرباح بكل سهولة للمعلنين يمكنك عبر منصة السوق اختيار أي من الحسابات التي تود الإعلان عن طريقها وتحديد النص أو الصورة أو الفيديو مع تحديد الوقت المناسب للإرسال مع إمكانية تصفح تقرير أولي عن الحساب حتى تتمكن من اختيار الحساب الأفضل لإيصال إعلانك سجل الآن مجانا وابدأ بنشر إعلانك 
تقديم فعالية السوق يوفر تقارير عن أداء إعلانك ومدى انتشاره مما يساعدك في قياس العائد على الاستثمار مباشرة السوق سجل الآن So, like you saw, it's uh, AdSook is a is a platform for connecting the advertiser and the publisher through the social media. So, uh, it's it's like I said, it's a platform which connects uh, the publisher through the social media in an efficient and an easy and secure way. So, uh, uh, let's start with the competitors for the uh, platform that we have. Uh, we have uh, buy sell ads.com and we have tweet ads in Saudi Arabia. They are all uh, in the same region, in the same idea, but they don't have a platform that can uh, be um, easily uh, used by the advertiser or the publisher. Uh, our advantage, our positioning, we have an Arabic and English uh, interface. Uh, it's automated and 100% uh, for publishing and sending, uh, let's say, tweets, for example. Uh, it's first Arab and globally in the way of how it's work. So uh, no, uh, until now, until now we don't have any uh, other platform that works the same way. Uh, the website also or the, uh, pro, uh, the portal give you a report for selecting uh, the account that you need. That will give you full report for each account in the system that you can choose among them. And also after you make your advertising, the website can give you a report for each ad you, uh, you do and it will give you evaluation of experience. How many uh, people uh, saw the ad and uh, how much uh, did it reach to the customers. How it works, it's so easy, so simple, you can just register. As a publisher, for example, you can create a profile, One author, authorize all your accounts on the social media and uh, you can start selling uh, or uh, market, you can start your marketplace. For the advertiser, you can register and you can find or search for any uh, profile that you need to publish your product or uh, anything you want through the portal. And you can schedule the post. It's also automated, 100%. Uh, you can just add the, the post time and after the publisher agree on it, it will be published automatically. This is the channels that we cover, the six uh, social media, until now. Uh, the future plan that we will cover more than two languages, now we have just Arabic and English. The next um, uh, one or two years, we'll cover around 10 or 15 uh, languages. And also we will try to support more social media channels, because now we have only six channels, and hopefully after two years we'll cover all the social media channels. And also, we hopefully discover new markets around the world. We can uh, get out the Arabic area, we can move on to other markets. So, thank you very much. Questions? You'll have to forgive me that I don't speak Arabic. Okay. So, I still don't understand how exactly you're different from any of the other ad serving platforms. Give me in 30 seconds how you differentiate from everybody else that's playing in this okay. space. The, the platform uh, can easily connect you to the advertiser directly through the website. You can register through the website, you can choose any advertiser through the social media, any influencer you can uh, find in our portal, you can connect it to him directly. And after you connect directly, you ask him to post something or picture or video that you want, and he can uh, agree or disagree or about the ad. And it will be automated on the time you schedule. Also, the website gives you a full report about the advertising you sent and uh, how much uh, people re read this uh, uh, advertising. Also, it gives you the, for each account. Uh, we know a lot of uh, people buy followers on Twitter. This platform gives you uh, these followers uh, the user have is real or fake. To give full reports for the all accounts you, we have on our uh, website. Is it clear? Sort of. <laughs> oh, okay. 
you have any question, I can uh, make it more clear so, for you. Maybe Mayor would like to ask something. Your, your current advertising advertiser network is within the region, correct? Yeah. So the ones who would post something on my behalf are, are within the region. So there are the influencers, the tweets, the people who have followers. Can you give me some examples on how some of the, if I want to come to your platform and I want to Okay, I'll give you, okay. okay. I will give an example. Maybe if you uh, have a sports company that sells maybe uh, something for sports. You can enter the website, you can search from the categories. We have all uh, accounts, categories, sports, media, and everything. So you'll enter the sports categories, you can choose the influencer you want. Like for example, we have uh, one of the players in Saudi Arabia called Simon Jabir. He has more than 400,000 okay. uh, followers. Okay. So you can choose his account to advertise any product you have. For example. Okay, so that's good. So the follow-up question is, how are you reaching these influencers and, and, and getting them on your platform? Yeah, uh, some of them come directly through the uh, some people word of mouth, and uh, some of them we connect it directly. Our uh, company go to those uh, influencers and tell them the idea about this website, the portion, how can they uh, raise money from this website. It's very easy, very simple, and they just register with us. So now I'm starting to get it. So you're eliminating the media agencies that, you know, will have you pay them tons of money of course. so that they can get you a famous player to advertise your products. That Connecting the famous people to the sort of yeah. mid-influencers. Mid exactly, to, this is the main okay. idea. It's connect directly, without any cost. Uh, of course, the website take a percentage of 30% for the advertising. This is for the indi individuals. And uh, for the companies of big corporation, we have another plan for them for uh, taking percentage from the advertising. Abdelaziz, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the audience questions. Thank you. So for the judges question. Thank you. So our next contestant is Ticket Fun, Hamad Arwaidi and uh, Akila, are you joining? Yeah, please. Yeah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hamid Rawali, CEO and founder of Ticket Fund. Uh, recently, Qatar and uh, uh, recently Qatar and MENA region has uh, a lot of exhibitions and uh, a lot of uh, conferences. Also, they have a lot of events as well. Events between sports, uh, educational, and uh, and cultural. So. The problem is that we have too many events here in this region, but we don't have like a place that has everything in one place. Ticket Fun, actually Ticket Fun, we found a platform that where you can have all events on one location, okay, where you can, uh, where you can rate, recommend, and, uh, and advise, also you can purchase your own ticket. Plus it is integrated with social media as well and it's open for organizations and private as well. And this is the platform that we have. Uh, we, have uh, we have it on mobile app, iPhones, I'm sorry, uh, iPads, uh, Kayaks, uh, uh, cash delivery, seat selecting, and the most important, the Arabic content. This is uh, the, uh, one of the major things that within our website, Arabic content. And the market actually, we're looking uh, for 200 million. Uh, this is uh, the market right now. This is what we are addressing, and this is what we are hitting. And uh, this is 15% of uh, all online e-commerce. Right now, we already have uh, pre-launch, right now. And uh, by the end of 2014, we will uh, have full, uh, uh, the platform will be fully functioned. 
And by quarter 2015, we will have it on UAE and Bahrain. By the end of uh, 2017, we'll have it within MENA region. And this is our team. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Akil, our CEO, he is uh, 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 actually our operation. And uh, I'm sorry. And Mr. Uh, Aja, he's our CTO and he's our uh, product developer. And myself, Hamdulillah, I work for Qatar Petroleum and I'm developing uh, products within Qatar Petroleum related to oil and gas. And uh, the competition, uh, actually here in Qatar, uh, uh, we are, uh, why we are different? Difference actually, uh, 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 the language, here we are hitting Arabic language and uh, also the culture, we understand the culture here in Qatar which is uh, similar to MENA region, actually, for all Arab world. On our pre-lunch, we uh, reached to uh, 6,000 uh, registration. This is only on our uh, pre-lunch. And we've been uh, on media, on Al Jazeera and uh, Rayan. And how we get money, actually, from sponsored uh, events, uh, ticket sales commissions, uh, cash on delivery, and ads on chaos. We are looking, actually, for 300,000 dollar for uh, and we'll spend it on scale up talent and engineering thank you very much thank you any questions you did it ahead of time about it it's a pretty good, interesting discovery too and can you talk about how you're going to get um, the data about the events conferences and things like that on one end and on the other end how are you going to get this app or service in front of the users so both sides of the marketplace you mean for entering the, the events within the website yes actually there's two ways actually the way that we design it it's like uh, it's open for Everybody, either organizers or it, it's, let's say like it's a self service. So anybody in this room can just go there and can he create his own event. This is one, plus we have our own team. He can also fit with some, uh, uh, some events. So that's why we have two parts actually. Organization or officials or government or name it and private as well. So there's no more like only officials or, or, or organize. We have, we have also the private private uh, people, like uh, people, they have their own interest, or uh, he can create his own event, and he can generate money out of it. So once he created there, simply he can uh, make his advertisement there, and he promote his event, and he cancel tickets about his own events. So it's not more, uh, no more like uh, uh, organization. Yeah. Other questions? The, the two other people on your team, are there full time? Yes. We are raising this money to make three of us full time. Okay. So when you talked about the competition, you talked about local competition. Okay. How do you compare against the products that are in use in Western Europe and in the U.S. like Eventbrite? Actually, uh, there is there is uh, uh, an indirect competition, uh, but uh, our product is a little bit different. This is like uh, made in Qatar here. So it is uh, custom made for this region. So with GCC flavor, if you can see the GCC country flavor, which can be applicable for all MENA region. So this is, uh, and we understand the culture actually. Uh, and that's why this one of our solutions that uh, cash on delivery. So this is, uh, we know how people uh, dealing with the, uh, you know, online uh, products and online ticketing. Uh, for that to elaborate, if you see the penetration of even bright or such services in the region, it is not as compared to U.S. or the European markets. Mm -hmm. As he said, uh, we are more local. We understand the flavor. We're trying to address. Nobody's trying to understand the problem here. What is the real problem with the ticketing? And we we understand the problem, and we are trying to deliver the perfect solution, which can be scalable in the whole region. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much.
So the, uh, the audience question. Thank you. We move towards the judges' question. Thank you. So we're ready to announce the presence. However, I mean we're gonna give it some time because we have a very important panel that we're gonna going to to have right now. So I I would love to invite the panelists and the moderator to join us on the stage. Yeah.